Hi guys, I'm Nina. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do videos on motherhood and lifestyle content. I have a little one named Jaden who is almost one year old. He is 11 months now. So I am in full on first birthday party planning mode. So I'm going to share with you guys what my vision is for his party and how I'm doing everything on a budget. I really want it to be super cute, but also affordable and enjoyable for myself, my family, and my little one. So I'm going to start by walking you guys through the theme and then I'm also going to show you guys all of the items that I have already got for his birthday. I did a big first birthday haul so I will show you guys everything that I bought. I am planning on doing a wild one theme birthday. I really love just the wild one colors. This is a little inspo that I have from Pinterest. I love like the sage green with a hint of gold and white. I am doing it a little bit more focused on like wild animals but specifically I want to do gold accents of animals, which I'll get into in a second, but I just love this wild one theme. I want it to be a little bit more safari than like foresty. I just created my Evite for his birthday and I loved that they had this adorable wild one Evite that was completely free. I did not have to pay for this one and it's just easy to use Evite because you can see who has RSVP'd or who hasn't responded and you can send messages through the Evite app and they had the perfect wild one Evite. So that's what I'm going to be using for the invitations. I'm going to walk you guys through all the things that I bought starting with Jaden's outfit. So I got him these little suspenders with a little white shirt and it also came with a matching bow tie. It's from Amazon, so I will link it down below, but I like that it's a very neutral color. At first I was gonna get him something green, but I just felt like it was gonna be too much with like the balloons and the background and the decorations. I didn't want him to just like fade into the de decorations. I wanted him to stand out. So I got him this little outfit. I also bought him this wild one birthday crown. I think it's so cute. It has like a little fur inside, and then it also comes with the, this furry piece that you can wrap around. I plan on taking pictures of Jaden before his birthday. So I'm gonna use this and his first birthday pictures along with this outfit that I got. And if you guys wanna see what his first birthday photo shoot is gonna look like, let me know and I can do a whole vlog on that. But this is the outfit that he's gonna be wearing. I think he's gonna look so cute even though he looks cute in everything, anything. For myself, I ordered this dress from Old Navy. I haven't tried it on yet or gotten it in the mail yet. I'm hoping that it looks cute. I wanted something that was comfortable, especially since I'll probably be on the floor some with Jaden. So I wanted something that was long. So if I need to get on the floor, move around, it's not going to be revealing in any way. It's still cute and goes with the party theme. For decorations, I am obsessed with balloons. When it comes to the parties, I love making my balloon, my own balloon arch, which I will show you guys when we get closer to his birthday, how I'm creating his own balloon arch. But for now, I got this packet off of Amazon and I really like the colors that it came with. And it, they look, the green looks a little bit dark, but I know that once you blow it up, it's going to become a lighter green color. It has the gold and the white. I went through a lot of different options on Amazon and this was the best being for your buck. I also like that it has different sizes of the balloon and it comes with what you need to actually make the balloon arch, like the little rubber band that you put the balloons in. So I also got this gold wild one balloon. I'm not gonna open up because it's just like too many pieces, but I'll show you guys what it looks like here from the Amazon link. So it says wild one. I'm gonna hang this up on one of our walls. We have like a blank wall in our living room. So I'm gonna put the wild one with the balloon arch around it. For decoration, I also got him these little gold wild animal cupcake toppers. So you just stick it in the cupcakes. I'm just gonna order a batch of white cupcakes from Publix and then put these gold cake toppers inside of it. Um, for the cake, what I did for Jaden's gender reveal was the first time that I made a cake for a party and it was actually really simple to do. I just bought um, cake batter, like the box cake batter and icing from the store and I made the cake myself, which again, I can walk you guys through once we get closer to the party, how I'm gonna do that. But I did order these cute little cake topper decorations from Amazon just to kind of 
to dress the cake up and look at make it look more professional than it really is but i love that it has this little greenery this little greenery that i can put on top of the cake it also has these little like palm leaves I might not use them all for the cake because it came with a lot of pieces, but I'll just put them around like the food area on the countertops. Um, my kitchen is mostly white, so I feel like these pops of green and then just the animals will be so cute. This one came with four different animals. It has the tiger, the, what is this? leopard i don't even know a giraffe and what i plan on doing is i plan on spray painting them gold so i bought this spray paint it was like five bucks on amazon and i'm going to spray paint my little animal figurines so that they have their cute little gold accents and then i'm going to make little party hats for them little white party hats with a little puff on top and i'm going to put that on my little animal figurines i'll hot glue them i'll use them as little decorations around the house and also on top of the cake and for my cake topper i ordered this one off of amazon as well i just love amazon because there's so many options and it comes in like one day since we are just a few weeks away from his birthday so i got this gold one cake topper that i'm gonna put on top of his white cake along with the little animal decorations and the little greenery around it this is my inspiration for the cake. I hope it comes out similar to that. I know it's not going to look perfect, but y'all, cakes can be so expensive. So if I can save a few hundred bucks by doing it myself, and it's actually pretty fun to do. It's like something that's creative that I enjoy. So I'm going to try to do it myself, and I will show you guys how that turns out. I also did a little dollar store haul for his party, so I'll show you guys what I got. First thing that I got was this craft paper for a dollar. I plan on putting a white tablecloth over the table that I have and then putting the craft paper out as like a centerpiece for the table putting the food on top of it and then putting the little animal figurines around it as well I also have some greenery like I'll probably even grab like this greenery that I have hanging in my bedroom and I have some greenery that I have in my living room so I'll probably put that across the table on this craft paper I got these cute little party hats from the dollar store there's a few different colors in here I really like that there's a gold one I'll probably use that like for my myself my husband and Jaden and then just have some extras around for the guests to put on or have for the kids to put on as they come in got these goodie bags they're just clear goodie bags that comes with a little tie but I bought this wire that I can use to tie the goodie bag so it goes more with the theme and, and I'm also going to use this cord to hang up his picture so I've done pictures of every month of his life I'm gonna get those printed and I'm going to hang them I'm gonna hang them with these little clips that I got from the dollar store on um, this cord and just hang it up on the wall so I'll be able to display his pictures over the months. The dollar store also had a few more of these figurines so I went ahead and grabbed these. These are the ones that I'm going to be spray painting and putting around the house and on his cake. We had these on Amazon but they were way more affordable at the dollar store. They didn't have a ton of them but I just grabbed whatever they had there. And then lastly, I got this one balloon from the dollar store and I think it's super cute. I'll probably put it in his room by his crib on his morning of his birthday. He loves balloons, so I know waking up to a big balloon is just gonna be so exciting for him. As far as activities go, I do want to have a little playpen area since we are inviting a few other babies. We're really blessed to have other babies that we know that are around Jaden's age and then a few older kids. So I do want to make a little playpen area. I was looking in to renting a play space that looks kind of like this but honestly it i felt like for the price of it i could just make my own so we have a little slide in the backyard that i will probably put in i'm gonna order a mat and a ball pen i'm looking at this one from amazon looking at a few different options and then a little tunnel for them to go through and some blocks to play on so nothing too crazy but just setting up a little play area inside the house 
we have a corner that will be able to hold it really well so that way it's something for the babies to do and an activity for them to play with during the party i will probably also order this little bounce house it's 60 dollars, so i felt like it was a fair price and i really think that it's something that Jaden's going to enjoy and be able to use over time i don't want to spend a lot of money on something that he's not going to actually get good use out of or he's not going to enjoy so i think it's something that will be fun for him and all the other kids who come there's a few like i said that are a little bit older so they'll be able to play on the bounce house and enjoy that we'll put that in our backyard so the play area and then the bounce house in the backyard are going to be our two main activities i do have a polaroid camera so i'm going to put that out and do like a little photo station it'll probably be by the wild one banner and the balloons i'll just put the polaroid camera on a little table and put a little stand that says like take a picture and leave a note for Jaden. for pictures i'm also working on doing a slideshow of his first year of life and just including our friends and family pictures that they've taken with Jaden over the past year and for the people who are close to us and who are going to be attending Jaden's birthday party I'm gonna have a slideshow on the TV so as people are like walking around the house and eating and talking they'll be able to look at the pictures of Jaden I've already cried like a few times while I've been making this slideshow but I think it's just gonna be a really cute addition to the party Another thing I'm working on is a Spotify playlist for the party and just including a bunch of kids music and songs like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, a few Coco Melon songs, um, even Encanto songs, just some fun um, music for the kids like McDonald, things that I'll play. Jaden loves music like anytime he hears some songs that he's familiar with, he starts like moving around like dancing and clapping. So I think it will be fun to have music on in the background and play it with for the kids to hear in the little play area so I'm working on a Spotify playlist another thing I got is a bubble machine Jaden loves bubbles he thinks that, like they're so fun and funny he literally just laugh when he sees bubbles so I'm gonna have this bubble machine I'm gonna put it in the backyard where the grass is and I'll just have the bubbles going the whole time so the kids can like walk around and see the bubbles and play with them outside for goodie bags, I'm also gonna get little bubbles and I'm gonna put them in the goodie bags that I got from the dollar store along with a few little goodies. I think I'm gonna do little cars for the little boys that are coming and then little animals to go with the safari theme that they can just take home and play with. For food, I'm gonna get some animal crackers to go with the theme, zebra cakes, and then I will also be doing tacos. I'm getting some inspiration from my Pinterest board. I think these are super cute food ideas that go with the theme of the party. Okay, so right after I did that haul, I went to Hobby Lobby to see if they had anything else. And they had so many cute Wild One things that were super affordable, so I wanted to share with you guys. The first thing I got was this one I'll use as decoration. I'll also use it for his first birthday photo shoot. They had this cute little animal table decor. It was $2.99. These little paper animal fans, which I'm just gonna hang around the house. This is for your party, Jaden. What else did you get? They got some forks, nice. I really liked this color. I tried looking for some utensils at the dollar store, but they were like a bright green, which I did not like. I really liked this color for 99 cents that they had at Hobby Lobby. They had these cute little snack cups, which I'm gonna use to put goldfish and little animal crackers in for the kids who are at the party. They had this cake topper, which I'm going to use for Jaden's smash cake. It was $1.99. I love that it's gold and glittery and nice and big for his cake. They had these chalkboard stands, which I'm going to use to write on and put by the food. They had these sage green plates and some more utensils. 99 cents, guys. They had this one gold foil balloon. I feel like you can never have too many balloons, so I'll find a place to put this in the house. What's next, Bubba? What else do we have? What's in there? Ooh, we had some wild one. Party bags. I know I had gotten the plastic ones from the dollar store, but I figured these went better with the theme, so I'll figure out a different use for the other ones and use these for the goodie bags or to put little snacks in for the kids. They had this scrapbook paper i like this one because it's like a shimmery green there's also a beige one and a gold one in here which i'm going to use for the party hats for to put on the little animals 
I'll use these as little toothpicks for my pigs in a blanket or any little finger foods that I have laying out. I'll put these in it so it's easy for people to grab. And then lastly, I also got this wild one sign. Even though I have the wild one balloons, I figured this banner would be cute to put in the backyard on the fence. And I could also use this for the photo shoot we're going to do for his birthday. Are you ready for your first birthday party? Are you ready for your birthday party? Look at all these fun supplies you got. Yeah. Look at your little figurines. Alrighty, guys, that's officially it for Jaden's first birthday party haul. Stay tuned to see how everything turns out. I'll be in doing another video showing you guys how I do the balloon arch and all of the setup. So I'm excited to show you guys along the way. Stay tuned for my next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it gave you some helpful ideas if you are looking to plan a party for your little one's first birthday. And I think the biggest thing for me is just making sure that I'm able to enjoy the time with Jaden. I don't want to be so focused on everything looking perfect and being perfect, but then miss the moment with my little one. So that's something that I'm really just like mentally preparing for so I can just cherish that moment with Jaden. And even though he's not going to remember it, I'm going to remember it. So that's why I wanted to do a little party and just make it a fun memory for our family and our people that have been pouring into us and Jaden over the last year. Bye guys, see you in my next video.